Chickens for checkups, goats for gallbladder surgery. Yeah. What the, what the? Well, the reason that you're a fan of Steve Coopy is he does good reporting. Yes. And this is a very interesting report. Sue Loudon is the leading Republican running for the U.S. Senate seat against uh, Democrat Harry Reid. And so last night, Reid supporters showed up with live chickens at a Loudon campaign event. And as our beloved Steve Krupe tells us, the campaign is getting animated. You know, he's our majority leader. This is not time to play games. With live chickens there to greet her at UNLV, there's no doubt the campaign games are underway in the battle between Sue Loudon and Harry Reid. Loudon's got to go! This protest was prompted by Loudon's suggestion that bartering for health care is a good idea. She says one of the ways you can keep the cost of your health care down is to barter with your doctor. You know, trade with him. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great idea. But what if your doctor's not Amish, okay? What do you do? <laughs> Despite being the butt of Jay Leno's joke last week, Loudon again defended the concept on this Monday's edition of Nevada Newsmakers. I'm telling you that this works. You know, before we all started having health care in the olden days, our grandparents, they would bring a chicken to the doctor. They would say, I'll paint your house. They would do, I mean, that's the old days of what people would do to get health care with their doctors. Doctors are very sympathetic people. I, I'm not backing I, down from that system. I have supporters of Harry Reid say the idea is laughable, prompting them to parade the poultry outside the building where Loudon was being endorsed by college Republicans at UNLV. It would take more than 6,000 chickens to pay for a mastectomy, for example. It's just unrealistic to think that people are going to trade chickens for checkups. From the very beginning, the Reid campaign said that they were going to vaporize me. They set the tone early on that this would be a negative campaign, that this would be a, a, a battle to the finish. And I think that, you know, this is just one sign of what's, what's to happen. Our political analyst John Ralston says Loudon should have backed off from the bartering comment right away. It was all she had to do was say, that's not what I meant. Correct herself, said in old times and in rural communities, they sometimes uh, did th things that we don't do today, but I can understand people's frustration. And will be over. Now she's allowed the Democrats to make hay out of it. Whether it's hay or chickens, this will be one of the most closely watched races in the country, and it certainly won't be the last time we see some ruffled feathers. So Nevada Democrats tried to deliver a goat to Sue Loudon's office last week, and she fired back, saying it's too bad Harry Reid isn't as good at creating jobs here in Nevada as he is at wrangling barnyard <laughs> animals. She should have taken the goat. It's getting nasty. Yeah.